Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Let's take a look at loading sounds into our drum machine. We kind of went over it briefly when we were talking about accessing drum machines, but I just want to be clear about loading individual sounds for us to uh, work with. So let's get our drum machine in place here. We'll go to our container drum machine and we've got a blank one. So we can grab a cell or a plus button on one of our cell areas and we can access our, you know, our samples uh, right here and grab our individual waveforms or whatever we want and load them from there. So if I wanted to load this kick wave, I would just select it, hit OK. And now within that cell is this kick wave activated and ready to go. So one of, one of the other ways we can do it, if you don't want to do it from there, is you can just go to your personal library of sounds. I've got a Sennheiser Deep House uh, Strictly Deep Pack here, and I've got some individual kicks under my kick folder, so I can just drag one of those guys over, drop it onto my cell, and I've got a play button, solo, which will solo the individual sound, and I can also mute the individual sound here as well. So there's a, another way to load it, and then we did discuss, which I'll show you one more time, one of my favorite ways to build your own drum kit or drum machine rack would be to have, let's go grab some beats. I'll just grab a loop. And from there, again, we can grab that. You can select the clip button in Bitwig Studio 2 right here, or you can right click. It's kind of your choice. Since this is a little new feature, let's explore it. So we've got some options from that loop that'll allow us to uh, put some different um, uh, transitions and different arrangements to it. So we're going to go slice the drum machine. And here in this menu, it's going to ask me, how do I want to slice it? At eighth notes, um, limit the number of slices. I can dial in a specific number if I want to limit it, but I'm just going to leave it at eighth notes and hit OK. It's going to create 16 slices for this particular loop. And we've got that MIDI slices right here. And our drum machine is now on this channel with all those flavors of that, or different sounds and stuff from that loop. And it's gonna play back exactly like the loop before it, so. So there's no difference at all between the two, except now we have access to our sounds from that loop. And we can go in here and, and you know, take the time to mute or delete delete by just hitting the delete on your keyboard if you don't want those particular sounds in and or you can just go through if you don't want to delete them you just want to check different arrangements you can hit the mute button so a couple different ways for us to work and and qu quickly start to build our own drum machine right there let's go ahead and get rid of this channel and we don't need this guy anymore what else um, so we loaded from our cell we loaded from our individual sound packs and we loaded from a loop. So a couple cool ways to load our uh, sounds into our drum machine. Let's go ahead and move on now that we've uh, got a better understanding of loading sounds into the drum machine. Let's look at how we can organize our sounds a little bit better to uh, access them and, and work with them easier.